Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to explore different type of count function. Let's uh, start with the simple count function. It returns the count of rows that uh, contain the following kind of values like numbers, dates and strings. But true and false values are not supported and blank values are skipped. Now next function is count A. It is also similar to this count function, but it supports true and false values. Count AX. It counts the non-blank results when evaluating the result of an expression over a table. And whenever the function finds no rows to aggregate, the function returns a blank. Now, if you want to count logical values, then you have to use this count AX function. Okay, that means it will support this true and false function. Now count x, it's not count a x, it's simple count x. It takes uh, two arguments, first is table and the second is one expression. And uh, count blank, it returns the number of blanks cells in a column. Count rows, we have used so many times this count rows function. This function is used to count the number of rows in a base table. But more often we are going, we have used this function to count the number of rows which are coming from a filter condition. Okay, whenever we are applying some filter and when we are getting some returning some records and we are counting those records. Okay, now distinct count as name suggested, it takes a column as an argument and you can use this column containing any type of data. When the function finds no rows to count, it returns the blank. That means it will always return the distinct count rows. Now distinct count no blank. So unlike this distinct count function, distinct count no blank does not include the blank values. That means distinct count, it includes the blank values, but distinct count no blank, it is always exclude these blank values. So let us understand how we can implement these functions. First, I have imported this US Superstore data as already I have done in my videos. Okay, so first use of count. Simple count. I'm taking this order date as a column. Okay, so it will return number uh, the count of date. So if any date are not present, it will simply uh, skip those rows. Okay, that means blank values are skipped. Okay, now uh, next function is count a. Count a. I'm considering this is cells function. Is cells is where uh, how I have created that is cells function. I've already explained in my previous videos. It's returning, if it is greater than 100, it will return true or false. Okay, so let me go back to this count A. And here count A is returning these values. Okay, because uh, after all it's counting. So it, will, it is working on this true and false values. That is my purpose to show you. Now count AX. What I have done? I have used this count AX function and within that function, I am using this because x is first argument should be a table and second argument will be an expression. Okay. Now I have used this filter condition and uh, US within the filter condition, I am passing this US Superstore as a table and category value is furniture. That means this filter value return type is table. Okay. And this is the postal code. It's, a, it's an expression I am considering here. So, uh, it should uh, return some value and uh, if you can observe, I'm getting this information, count, this type of, this count information. That means it will return the furniture category, postal code for this furniture category. Now, before moving to this count x function, I, I will show you this count row function. Okay, count row is simple. It returning the uh, number of uh, rows from this table. Okay, this is simple. Now, uh, next one is distinct count. Distinct count is also, I'm providing this order ID because in this uh, table, the order ID has been 
repeat it multiple times okay so that's why i'm using this order id and this distinct count of this order id if you can observe i'm getting this 5009 uh, distinct order id now for this use of uh, distinct uh, count no blank and here i'm passing this product id that means it returns the number of rows of this product id which doesn't include the blank values now count x and use of count blank i have used a sim another simple table which you can also create i have just created one personal data um, a small table with id name and phone let me show you the data structure uh, simple just give me one name and this is a phone number and um, intentionally i am keeping two uh, records are blank okay so that i, I can experiment with the other uh, functions so now here i am using this use count text i am using this phone and you can observe it will return only three that means the two uh, blank rows are skipped here now uh, this is a count blank and it is returning the two rows that means two rows are blank because my previous data set doesn't have any blank rows so i i am not able to experiment that so i have created this data set i hope from this video you got some idea about different type of count function in this statistical function category index thank you thanks for watching